evening. Let's take a look at the forecast now. Remember, Oktoberfest runs until 1 a.m. tonight, so it's going to be a late night over there by the river. Oktoberfest, we'll see temperatures slowly dropping off in the mid-50s during the early evening hours down to around 50 degrees at 1 a.m. You notice we will see some clouds through the evening hours, but clouds will start to break, and we'll see partly cloudy skies late this evening into the overnight hours as the winds will be relatively light as well out of the south, only at about 5 miles per hour. Then we're going to look at the football forecast tomorrow over in Fayetteville. TU taking on the Arkansas Razorbacks. That kickoff around 11 o'clock tomorrow morning over in Fayetteville. If you're heading over to northwest Arkansas, we'll see partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies at kickoff. 58 degrees by the time the game ends into the mid-60s. Just a beautiful afternoon over in the Ozarks with those northerly winds at around 10 miles per hour. OSU is off tomorrow and OU down in Fort Worth for TCU. Looks like partly cloudy skies and temperatures in the 60s there for that game tomorrow morning as well. Well, we have been tracking showers throughout most of the day. Most areas have picked up some healthy amounts of rain. We've picked up about three quarters of an inch of rain officially here in the Tulsa area. We did have a little strip of about an inch and a half of rainfall across parts of east central Oklahoma throughout the morning and afternoon hours, but that activity is slowly working its way off to the east. Heaviest rains now have shifted over into Arkansas. Still some light showers along and generally south of Interstate 40 from around Muskogee over to Stillwell and points to the south. This will continue working its way off to the east. Most areas will start to dry out across eastern Oklahoma over the next couple of hours as this activity shifts over into Arkansas. Well, the rain is already over with here in Tulsa. The roads are slowly starting to dry out. There's a live look at Air Comfort Solutions. Renaissance Hotel cameras are looking at 169. A lot of folks heading on home and they're starting that weekend. 57 degrees, so temperature wise a little cool out there and winds out of the south at six miles per hour. They'll stay relatively light through the rest of the evening hours. We have seen some breaks in the clouds off to the northwest and that's allowed temperatures to warm into the low to mid 60s up around Stillwater and Ponca City and farther out to the west we are seeing temperatures into the 70s. Look at the warmer weather where we have seen sunshine today. Central and western Kansas, northwest Oklahoma, the Texas Panhandle, 70s out there. We're going to see the 70s shift into our area for tomorrow. But you notice with the clouds where we've seen the rainfall, temperatures are cool with mid to upper 50s from Tulsa to Springfield up towards the St. Louis area. Here's what we expect on future track. The rain continuing to work away through the overnight. You notice the clouds will move out as well. But with the clouds moving out and the rainfall that we've seen, could see a little bit of patchy fog develop for a time. But you notice as we move through the overnight hours, we'll see north winds pick up up to about 10 miles per hour. So if we see any fog and it would be along and south of I-44 has a little bit better chance that it would be during the early overnight hours as some drier air works in and these winds pick up out of the north, any fog that would develop during the overnight hours should slowly start to fade away. So by 5, 6 o'clock in the morning, a little bit of patchy fog, especially in far eastern Oklahoma. Most areas, though, will not see much fog by then. With temperatures dropping into the upper 40s, so a cool start, as we'll see those north winds at around 10 miles per hour. Any fog during the morning hours should fade away. We'll see mostly sunny skies, a great looking day. North winds at around 10, occasionally up to 15 miles per hour. And high temperatures tomorrow in the lower 70s, so beautiful afternoon area-wide for the eastern Oklahoma area. We will see slightly cooler air work its way in for tomorrow night. We'll drop to 37. A few spots in far northeast Oklahoma could see a frost early on Sunday morning. Back into the mid-60s on Sunday afternoon with plenty of sunshine nearing 70 degrees by Tuesday. Next chance of rain moves in on Wednesday with highs around 60 degrees, but quickly back in the upper 60s and low 70s by Friday. So we got the rain out here just in time, Karen, for a beautiful, beautiful weekend Good. across the area. Saturday looking great and a taste of fall back again. Oh, yeah. That frost? Looking great. I'm going to be outside most of the day. Yep. <laughs> you bet. Yep. Well, new.